I absolutely love this show. I'm, I'm addicted already. I've only seen two episodes, and I absolutely love it. And Rita, what a gem to play Ruby Walker. Yeah. Are you absolutely loving it? Yes, I am. Um, my sister said, oh, it's like you, but nicer. I saw that. Not that, that. Not that <laughs> she had a backhanded take that, compliment. But but... Oh, all right, I'll take that. Um, yeah, she's a great role, and I mean... It was in Sri Lanka, so you couldn't really complain. It was like waking up in paradise every day. And there seems to be a bit of a spark between your characters. Well, don't spark? you think? I don't know. I think there's a spark. Yes and no. Well, he doesn't like her very much no, at the moment because that he, is does, the thing. he doesn't think she's qualified. But I really, I just hope. Is, are you going to get together? That's all I want to know, James. Is it going to happen? <laughs> As if I he's going to tell you. I can't Can say. You not tell me anything. No, it don't work like that, Al. Put it this way: I think uh, the, the way the whole relationship will turn out is is very, it's surprising but I think it's realistic and satisfying. It is. Well, a lot of people are saying that they want you two to get together. I mean, you, like you said, your sister says, Ruby's a nice girl, actually, yeah. nicer than you. It's like you're playing yourself. <laughs> what is it like playing such a nice character? Because the series is pretty much based around Ruby. You know, she's flown out to India. Yeah. She's, she's gone through the heartbreak, starting a new life. Yeah, she is going through a heartbreak, so... Um... I think, at the moment, the only love of her life is that Royal Enfield anyway. <laughs> um, but she's at rock bottom when we meet her, so it is, it is her out, in a way. So when we see her in um, Kerala, she is sort of getting to grips with this new life and new people and the challenges thrown her way by James's character and Amanda Redman's character, you know, who are quite headstrong. But Ruby herself is quite headstrong as well, so it's kind of how she fits into that and they sort of become her family. And I think we can start to see that in the first couple of episodes. I think what's brilliant about this series is the fact that you really are tackling really difficult issues. You're not shying away from it, and the way you're dealing with it is just brilliant. Um, was that something that attracted you to this role? Absolutely, yeah. And, and I think, you know, you've got to give the writer, Dan Sefton, a lot of credit, mm. you know, and all the producers that they, they weren't afraid to actually talk about, you know, uh, issues in South India and the whole of India that perhaps you don't always see on on TV drama, but at the same time, you know, there is a feel-good aspect to it, and, and I hope it is entertaining and enjoyable. It's a real Sunday night drama yeah, yeah. to sit and watch yeah. with the family as yeah. well. It's, it's a really fun thing to watch. And one thing that I noticed about you, James, you, the British accent. Yeah. You haven't got that in this. <laughs> Do you find it hard with the accent? Well, I mean, I have some family in South India, so that helped. I mean, and I've been a lot, many, many times. I hadn't been for a while, so I had to brush up. But, I mean, I based the actual accent on a specific doctor from that region. Um, so, yeah, you know, it took a bit of time to get it, but, you know, that's, that's the magic of acting. And, and it's a thrill to do that, you know? And you say it's the magic of acting, but for you, this is a little bit more close to home, isn't it? Because your father, wasn't he a doctor yes, in Nepal? Yes, he is. He is an obstetrician. Um, he works in Stockholm at the moment, but, yeah, he was a junior doctor in Kathmandu. Didn't um, he want you to be a doctor? Well, I, I think... <laughs> well, you are now, technically. <laughs> yeah, he no. must be so proud. Yeah. Um, no, I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to follow in his footsteps for a while. I wanted to be a paediatrician, funnily enough. So that's quite funny. Um, but, yeah, it was quite interesting because... Um, Rather than perhaps going to him and asking him questions about, oh, what is it like to be a doctor, what I found interesting is, and I think you found this interesting as well, is what is it like to be a doctor in Nepal or mm. in an Asian country like you know, Kerala, um, compared to working in the NHS, which is what he did. He moved to um, England and worked in the NHS. And it is, a lot of it is down to your attitude as a doctor and the patient-doctor relationship. And I think that's quite interesting in Dr Varma's case as well, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's such a big difference, as we found with our research mm. and with the writing of the show, is that, you know, being a doctor in the NHS in the UK is a totally different kettle of fish mm. to being a doctor in a small coastal town, run-down hospital in South India. And, you know, one of the big differences between our characters at the beginning is that, you know, because she's a Westerner, she perhaps sometimes allows her emotions to get a bit more, you know, strung mm. with the patients, whereas Dr Varma and some of the other local doctors, they feel like the emotion shouldn't always come into it. Like, there is something that you said, though, <laughs> in, your, in your chat that we had with yeah. you earlier, and I've got to ask you about it. You turned around and said, Dr Varma doesn't like Ruby, but people don't like people for no reason. Absolutely, yeah. <gasps> so is there something going to come it's out? A, what's all on? this about, James? Come well, on. Yeah, I mean, what's all this about? <laughs> <laughs> It's all what, I feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm there. It's, like <laughs> it's no, it's you know, it's it's that old theory that you know when you initially supposedly dislike someone, a lot of the time you're disliking qualities about them that actually you dislike about yourself. Mm. So I think there's a lot of similarities. That's yeah, there is. Between, I mean, what about Sri Lanka? How was it filming there? Hot, humid, 
really Sweaty. fun. <laughs> Amazing. And we had such a great casting crew and, you know, it was a great medley of people because we had crew from both Sri Lanka and even Mumbai when we were doing... From all over. Unit. And it's a great yeah. cast as well. Exactly. We're and it's really on Sunday, yeah. 9 o'clock. Sunday, 9 o'clock episode 3 is. It's going to be a good one, guys. Thank you thank so you much so for, much for joining us. us. Good up with the series.